Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here it is, chapter 21. Now back on Don Fing, Yang Chu is holding her father photo. She was accompanied by Ahe, the second boss of the Dong Ping now. As her father requests, Ahe was still close to Yang Chu. Now, they are entering the temple. Yang Chu cried last night so much. But now, she act like a little boss. Or not a little now. She really grown up. In a short time, she need to stand up. And be the boss. Yang Chu is giving her final respect. She was now praying. Well, she's still young. But she needs to be grown up. She needs to be stay strong. Yang Chu is still looking at her father's photo. Probably she was remembering everything good happens. Her father passed away in peaceful. And it's really a relief for Yang Chu. Remembers back then, still crying. But Yang Chu stay focused. Now she's acting like a boss. As we can see, she has a strong faith. After the final respect, Ahe, go and arrange for guests to sit down. I will go now. Now they separate each way. On the other hand, a familiar guest appeared. She greeted Yang Chu. New hall owner, stay safe. Is this a warning or she is mocking Yang Chu? It turns out to be a Lord Feng, a foster father of Xiao Ying. Oh, it's not forget me, isn't it? Now this man is really sarcastic. On behind of them, that is Mr. Tan. Yang Chu said, Mr. Feng is making a joke on me. The person following this annoying guy, Yang Chu remember Mr. Tan. They met up on the theater, where Xiao Ying is singing. Now Mr. Feng is laughing. Let me just say, how could Master Yan forget me? After all, Brother Sheng He and I have been friends for more than 10 years. Mr. Tan remembering Yang Chu, a little familiar. Mr. Feng said, let me introduce Hall Master Yan. This is Mr. Tan, a businessman who was returned from overseas, is now also my business partner. Let us say, she wants Xiao Ying to marry that man. Mr. Tan said, Hello, Hall Master Yan. She was giving her hand. Can Yang Chu accept him as a fair friend? Or what? Mr. Tan said, I just returned to Dongping not long time ago. I hope to have opportunity to cooperate more on Bing Sing Tang in future. As a master of Bing Sing Tang, well, they will really meet in the future. Yang Chu is thinking that this man, that's all, that's a quite polite. Well, she didn't expect Mr. Tan to appear here. Yang Chu accept Mr. Tan Han. If there is any business that can be developed with Bising Tang in the future, I would like to hear the details. Look at Mr. Feng's face. Well, Mr. Tan was surprised. And it says, ha? Huh? Well, Yang Chu accepted him, but they will be arrivals in future. Now suddenly, Xiao Ying appeared. Now she was approaching Yang Chu. Still, Yang Chu can see her. Mr. Tan is surprised. Yang Chu looked back to see why Mr. Tan is surprised. Now, Yang Chu is surprised also. She look up. Well, as we can see, her face turns a little red. She 
Shaolin looks pretty. She looked very well. I'm just so excited when in future she will stand beside Yang Chu. Now, Yang Chu looked back and said Xiao Ying. And then Mr. Feng was approaching her. She will rush toward Xiao Ying. Look at Mr. Feng's face. How could I meet my favorite big star here? Xiao Ying said, Lord Feng. Well, it was her surprise. Mr. Feng is really greedy. On the other hand, Xiao Ying rushing toward Mr. Feng. Well, it's because she will come after Xiao Ying. Well, Yang Chu might trying to protect Xiao Ying from Mr. Feng. Yang Chu move away Mr. Feng's hands. She really blocked it. Look at her Mr. Feng's face. That greedy man, he looks so bad. Now Yang Chu is blocking Lord Feng. Well, no one's gonna touch her girl. Go big boss Yang Chu. Protect your girl. Now, silence come to them. Xiao Ying is hiding behind Xiang Chu's back. Well, Mr. Feng is really greedy. Now, to protect her girl, Yang Chu said, Allow me to introduce you. Miss Wang is mine. Special friend. Oh, it's special friend or lover. Lord Peng was surprised and said, Eh? Oh, like this. Well, she can upset Yang Chu, or else he will be in trouble in future. Lord Peng said, Xiao Ying, I've been busy. When I finish my work, I will go to Xian Yiling to support you. Xiao Ying said, All right, Mr. Feng. Now, she looks happy. She looks at Yang Chu. On the other hand, Mr. Tan is speechless. She was looking at Yang Chu and Xiao Ying. Well, what do you think guys? What will Mr. Tan thinking about? Really? Just? Best friend? Wow, Mr. Tan has a strong personality. He is a wise thinker. She really gets on what's happening now. Lord of the words, Mr. Tan said. She was referring to Yang Chu. It is inconvenient for me and Miss Wang to have a few words alone. Well, what will happen next? Yang Chu asked Xiao Ying, Did you know him? Xiao Ying answered Yang Chu. And he said, Ah, well, what Mr. Tan want to talk to Xiao Ying? I have a honor to appreciate Miss Wang, wonderful seeing boys in Shan Lelin. She was nodding an acquaintance, right Miss Wang? Well, that's not the point. She really likes Xiao Ying. Xiao Ying said, You go to Ahe first, I will go to you later. Now Yang Chu looks surprised. Is she gonna approve this or not? Finally, she said, All right, I'm waiting for you. Well, what Mr. Tan want to talk to her? Or still pursuing Xiao Ying? On the other hand, Yang Chu went back. Ahe, lend me a hand. Yang Chu is waiting on the hall with Ahe. Ahe said, what's wrong? Yang Chu said, he is very upset. Well, is she upset or jealous?
Now Ahe and Yang Chu still looking on Xiao Ying. Xiao Ying and Mr. Tan is still talking. Probably Yang Chu is really jealous. Yang Chu said, I stand so far away that she can't hear what they are saying at all. Well, she's really jealous. Looks like Mr. Tan is teasing Xiao Ying and said, Really just? Well, technically, they are not friends, but lovers. But now, they don't steal a label yet. Mr. Tan said, Nodding acquaintance. Hey guys, thank you for watching. See you again next chapter. Bye!